Before I start this video, I'd like to say a big thank you to Hex Productions, who support us in keeping the Access Advisor website going. I'd also like to thank Spectrum. Spectrum are proud to support Access Advisor. Spectrum supports disabled people to live independently. Without this support, we wouldn't be able to bring you these videos. And now on with the video. Well, here we are at Roundlands again. It's July, as you can tell, because it's bloody raining. It's not a football trip today, but we're just off out today to do a bit of train spotting. Hopefully the weather will get better later. Once again, I was picked up at Roundlands Station, and that cost me £13 a day to leave my van there. And before I knew it, we were at Alsford Station, ready to go on the Watercrest Line. And at the station you can see there's a slight step and it's about one inch to get into the entrance. And I should say that throughout this video, every staff member we encountered was really helpful and really kind. And here's the ramp for getting on the train. Uh, it's rather a throwback, it's a bit of an old fashioned ramp but it did the job. And maybe I wondered if they could have perhaps a part of the platform could be raised a bit higher so the ramp isn't that steep as my foot plates scraped the bottom of the ramp at the bottom and when you got to the top there were boxes stored at the top at foot plate level which rather limited my manoeuvrability and then we got to the doors as you'd expect they were very narrow but we managed to get through in the end and the staff did some musical chairs and helped us move about a bit and we got in and here we go leaving Allsford station for a journey that took about half an hour I guess and it did strike me how we loved the experience of travelling on this watercrest line and yet 30 years ago I probably got quite angry about it. Anyway, the weather did try to dampen our spirits but we had a really good time and the journey takes about half an hour I guess in total and you can see the rain coming down. Our first stop was at Rockley Station where we passed the wonderfully accessible holiday accommodation flat spaces then we stopped at Medstead and Four Marks, and then finally we arrived at Alton, and here I am reversing off the train. I wasn't going down that ramp forward, believe me. And we get off the train, and access to the platforms and exit from the platforms is via these two lifts and a linking bridge, so that was quite easy. Then we took an accessible stroll into Alton. I must say, I thought most of it seemed shut, but there you go. Anyway, we found Stone's Cafe. It was very accessible, room for all of us to sit around the table and chew the fat over lunch. And once we had a hearty lunch, we went back to the station and made our way back home. But before I sign off from this video, here's a bit of footage for all you train enthusiasts out there. Yes, we've got the engine coming in, pulling the carriages, and you can see it there. I'll try to get you some good footage of it. And then it was back on the train, but not before the staff had been even more helpful by moving one of the station benches out of the way so that there was enough room to get onto the ramp and here you can see them moving the bench and then it was time to get back on the train again and home so just to sign off say thank you to everyone on the watercrest line for making our day such a great one i hope you like this video and please follow access advisor on all our social media until the next time bye for now